Hi there friends, Debbie with Debbie Gets Crafty and I just wanted to do a little bit of a whip and chat with you today. I am working on my summer gardens picture and I've gotten pretty much up to up to here done but I still have a little bit to do down here but I wanted to work around this area today with you and let me just grab my little clock here <laughs> so I can keep time there we go and there we are so we're gonna start in this area right here and that is the letter H all right so I'll bring it in a little bit there you go so this area right up and around here we'll start there and then we'll pick and choose where else we'll go so I certainly hope that everybody is doing well today. I am doing great. Any chance that I have to spend a little bit of time with my friends, that is going into the win column for sure. And let's go ahead here, give this a little shimmy shake. And I do see that I have a couple that are, whoops, that are down out of camera shot, but I'm gonna fill them in anyway. There we go, excellent. All right, so let's get started. And let me know in the comments below what you're working on today. I have had a few videos out of some whip and chats on some other projects. I hope you've been able to enjoy those. Those will be continuing works in progress. I will only work on them when I get the chance to visit with you. But this picture, however, I am working on even when we're not together. This is a bit larger, so I want to get this one done because I have other larger, fo uh, larger canvases that I'd like to work on as well. So that's what we're doing. And again, I hope you're all doing well. I hope the weather is cooperating for you. It has been hot and steamy here in Central Tennessee. I cannot believe that we are almost in to the middle of July. By the time you see this, we'll be well past that, but for right now, we are almost to the middle of July. And this picture is coming along really nicely. I'm really happy with it. And this picture just brings back memories. I know every time I show this picture, I always, you know, happen to mention that this picture brings back memories for myself and my twin sister, Judy. By the way, Judy has All Fired Up Crafting Lounge here on YouTube as well. Check her channel out. She is a hoot. And this picture brings us back to when we were little. She and I used to catch fireflies in mayonnaise jars and during the summertime and I just remember you know on a nice warm summer night the fireflies would be out it would look like a light show in our backyard it was so magical and just you know having a chance to run around in the yard and play and watch the fireflies and sometimes we would go swimming at night in our pool our mom and dad had a pool in the backyard that we would swim in. It was so much fun. Lots of great memories. Or sometimes we were even camping. We would go camping as a family. And I miss those days. And Judy and I often talk about them. We had a great childhood. We were very lucky, she and I. There we go. So we're just working along, filling in the letter H, which is a really pretty blue. I know it doesn't show up on the, because of the light pad, but when I turn the light pad off when we're done, you'll see it's a really pretty blue. I mean, you can see it in the, in the camera. So, That's what I'm working on, working on this. Also working on, uh, again, the other projects for our whip and chat videos. 
and my husband Todd and I are working on our yin and yang pictures. He's doing one that has dragons in it. I'm doing one that has a male and a female wolf. Two wolves, one male, one female in it. It's really pretty. So that's what we're working on. We, we don't devote honestly too much time to them. Um, as I was saying in previous videos that Todd and I will do a little diamond painting in the evening like on a Friday night or a Saturday night because we can stay up a little later. We don't have to get up as early. Well, except when Spoto wants to get us up because he's wanting his breakfast <laughs> promptly at 5.55 a.m. every morning. Every morning. But that's okay. That's his schedule. And it's good for him to have a schedule. And he just, that's what he likes. And that's what we do. Oops. I must have dropped that somewhere. Or it might have landed back in my little boat here. And there we are, right here. Okay. So we'll continue onward. So yes, please let me know what you're working on. I'd love to, to know. And if you are a member of our Facebook group, Sassy Crafting Sisters and Misters, feel free to post a picture of what you're working on as well. We enjoy we enjoy looking at everybody's crafting projects. No matter what they are, crochet, knitting, coloring, working with clay, woodworking. My husband likes to do wood burning. He makes jewelry. If you make jewelry, yeah, I did, did drop that. That's okay. I'll pick it up in a minute. So, candle making. If you work with resin, we like to look at every. Well, that's the second time I've done that. Well, now, give me just a moment, friends. I need to just adjust the let's see here I have to adjust the uh, glue dot in my painting in I'm sorry in my pen you know how that goes you know how that goes so and all I do is I just take the edge of a paper clip just like that. Stick it in the pen. Give it a little zhuzh. Give it a little whirl. Pull it out a little bit. You'll see that little glob of the glue dot. And then I'll just pat that back in. Into my pen. Give it a little twist and shake on my hand. There we go. That should work much better now. Need to give my drills a little shimmy shake off camera. There we are. All right. So let's continue onward. Oh, that's a little bit better. Eh, maybe not. Well, you know me. There we go. It is a little bit better. And here we are. Sometimes I use glue dots, sometimes I use blue tack, sometimes I use the wax that comes with the kits. Just depends on how I'm feeling for that project. I apologize if you hear my computer running in the background. I do have it turned on. And 
It's a little bit of an older computer, so it's got that fan on it that makes that distinctive noise when it's running. And so I have uh, some Timu hauls coming up. I should have some uh, Timu hauls that my husband purchased and that I purchased. Some will have some bits and bobs in it along with crafting items. Some will just be crafting items. It just depends. I know I like to uh, see what people are buying on Timu because sometimes I get inspired, especially if it's like the bits and bobs. Uh, little gadgets and stuff. I love that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do some Christmas shopping uh, here in the very near future because you can get some really neat gifts and you don't have to break the bank. And this way, when... I just have to refill my boat. And this way, when Christmas comes along, I won't be scrambling and worrying about getting uh, getting things and I can just sit back and enjoy the holiday without the stress. Here we go. Just continuing. And friends, let me just show you these nails. I have had these nails for several days now. I got these from Timu. They're press-on nails. Now, by the time you see this video, I'll probably have changed them out to something different. But for now, at the time that I film this video, these are my nails that I have on. And I just absolutely love them. I just wanted to do something, I don't know, that made me feel pretty. And they were a lot of fun to put on. Very easy. And these, I don't even think, cost me a dollar. I think they were like 98 cents for the package of 24 nails. Most of the packages of nails that I got, and I've gotten quite a few packages of different colors um, and such. Um, I don't think if maybe one or two of the packages that I've gotten have cost over a dollar, I'd be surprised. Like I said, I am cheap and cheerful. Why break the bank? I work from home. I don't go out that much. So honestly, it's really for me and in my enjoyment. And, I mean, I have my hands on, you know, in videos a lot. So I thought, let's pretty them up a little bit. Dress them up. And they're super easy to put on. What I love these days is that they have, if you've not seen the new press-on nails that they have out, they come with these glue tabs, like a gel type of a tab that you put on your finger first and then, then, and then you press the nail, you know, the, the artificial nail onto that glue tab. And that's the adhesive. I love it because you don't have to, you know, mess around with the with the liquid glues that are so messy sometimes, you know, um, and they really, that liquid glue can really, I think, damage your nail bed. And I'm not sure if these glue tabs damage your nail bed too much, but if you're only going to wear them for a few days, I don't think they would damage your nail beds too much. And I'll tell you something, taking your nails off when you're ready to change them out or just, you know, get rid of them altogether couldn't be easier. Uh, what I do, and I got this trick and tip from Natalia on Lovecrafts Forever. She soaks her hands in just some warm water with a couple drops of dish soap in it. And, or soap, I should say. I'm not sure if it's dish soap, but she just dips her hands in, uh, soaks her hands in some nice warm water with a couple drops of soap in it and 
just lets them soak for a little bit, a few minutes, and then she'll take her little bamboo stick and gently work, you know, her way under the nail and gently lift them off. And not only does it help to lift the nails off gently so you're not damaging your nail bed, but you can also, it helps to save the nail and you can reuse them later on. So I think that was, I thought that was a really neat idea, and I have tried it, and it does work. So I don't know if you knew about that little trick or tip. You probably did, but if you didn't, there you go. Just a little something I picked up along the way. And honestly, it takes no time at all to apply these nails. It's really fun and really neat, and it just, I don't, like I said, just makes me feel a little prettier. Just gives me a little bit more sparkle. And there is nothing wrong with that. Just a little bit more sparkle if you'd like. And I like the length too. I think these are called extra short, which is perfect for me because I am not the long nail kind of a gal. Definitely not. I have a dog who is a very rambunctious little puppy and I worry about hurting him if he, you know, throws his head around and gets too close to my hand. And also, they're just not comfortable for me. So the extra short nails are perfect size for me. And of course, I make them last a little longer because I do wear uh, gloves when doing the washing up for the dishes and such. And I am extra careful with them because I do want them to last. We've had quite a few H symbols here. That's good. Here we go. And we're continuing onward. Just going to put a few more. Oh, no, I think I can. I think I'll just use up what's in here. And then we might switch to another color. I'm going to go down here. There. Oops. It must have fallen somewhere. I hate when that happens. Oh well, I'll find it. I shall find it eventually. There we go. And well, I am going to pour just a few more in because I want to finish this little this little section here with them. And then we'll move on to another color real quick. I figure maybe a half an hour of a whip and chat would be a good, a good time. Oh, I found that little drill. There we go. And you can go right there. You were very close to an H. So that's where you live now. There we are. And I know probably when I get to the end of these whips and chats that some of you look at the uh, picture and notice that I've missed a few of whatever symbol I would be working on and probably yell at the TV you missed one <laughs> I've done that myself but I always go back and check on it and find where I missed them and fill them in but of course and let's see I think that's all I have over here for the letter H for now until I spot one or two that I forgot there we go yeah I think that'll do it for now for the H's and then I think we'll go to, oh, see, I did miss a few. I bet you were yelling at your TV. Hello, Debbie. 
Get those. There we go. Oh, and I lost the drill. Where did you go? That's all right. I'll find it somewhere. There we go. There. Oh, I know that one dropped. There we are, right there. And we'll just shimmy shake that one all the way up. That's not the best thing to do to skate it all the way up there, but that's what I did. And let's see here. Okay, that'll be it for that one. So we'll put this color back, give it a little tap, make sure they're all back in. And I think we'll work on the letter C for a few minutes. And the letter C, there we go, 318, that's a pretty gray. Nice pretty gray. And let's see here, so we'll start here in this area. Once I'm done with our whip and chat and I say my goodbyes, I need to go out and take Spoto out for one more bathroom break before my day starts. While we have while we work, my husband and I both work from home, so while we work, uh Spoto is in his kennel. He's just not old enough yet, or mature enough, to be honest with you, to be left to wander the house. I would love that. I can't wait for that day to come. But that day is not today. He just recently had his surgery. He was neutered. And so he's still on the road to recovery there. But he's doing very well. Thank you for all the well wishes. And, but he's still not mature enough. He's six months old. He just turned six months old on July 1st. And he still has quite a ways to go. He's still in that very rambunctious puppy stage. And he is a high energy dog. So, we are working on trying to calm him down a little bit. He gets in these little spurts where I understand he's a high energy dog and especially since we've not really had him out too much since his surgery. He had to take a good 10 days, just about 10 days to recuperate. We started letting him out aside to play a little bit sooner. But it's only because, he, again, he's a high-energy dog and he was just not happy, you know, just being cooped up and only allowed to go out to do his business and come back in and just sit around. He's not that type of dog. He likes to be in the yard. He likes to play. He likes to run. But, I mean, after surgery, he couldn't do that. He wasn't allowed to. He needed to heal. But he's healed really nicely. And so Todd and I, over the weekend, we were slowly letting him out and about in the backyard a little more, which he had the time of his life. But of course, being that for that, you know, little over a week that he was cooped up, he's got all this pent up energy. So he turns into a little bit of a wild man with his attitude. And he gets, you know, that nippy, he's still in that nippy stage. And so we're working on him with that as well. It, it is a challenge, but it's one we're willing to take because we love him so much. And that's what you do for someone you love. You put in the work. And sometimes it's hard work, but you put in that work. Just moseying along on this picture, filling in the letter C wherever I find it. And it's in random spots.
and I know I've missed a ton of them in that area up there and I'll get to them eventually how about this how about we'll do that we'll work on a few up here Is that okay there we go just filling in some spots here I'm not going to get that whole section done with this letter because it's almost time for us to say goodbye but at least we had a little time a little chance to chat and catch up if you've noticed I've been really trying hard to put some content out there for you to enjoy I hope you enjoy it I enjoy making it I enjoy sharing that with you so I hope you enjoy it as well but I've really been trying to do some things to get some content out there for you. And there's other projects that I want to work on too in the future. There we go. We are working away. that letter C. Here we go. And there's one right there. Got a few up here we'll tackle. get my few drills that I have left. Oh, I have a little, I'll show you a little trash drill right here. That's a bit of a wonky drill. So, we'll pick him up and deposit him in our little trash drill bin. Haven't had too many of those. is good. This picture is really coming along nice. It's been a pleasure working on it. It's got some confetti, it's got some color blocking, so it's been a nice mixture of both. I prefer a lot of color blocking, but of course, you know, you have to have the confetti in there too to create depth in your painting, in your canvas. And I understand that. And listen, life is great with confetti, isn't it? It's a party. You gotta have the confetti. For sure. Especially when you're diamond painting. A little bit of confetti. There's times where I've seen some really confetti heavy pictures and oh, oh, oh. Ooh. makes me think twice about doing them. Let's see here. Have I missed any? I think we may have gotten all of the C's in this particular section here. Let's just do a quick little scan. This is exactly what I do, friends. I will do a section and then just do a little scan of that section. And I know there's some up here in this bow. You can't see it. It's off camera, so that's good. But I will get to that section. I consider that doing a, a, another section. But in this particular section right here, this glass jar, we have gotten all of the C's. So that's good. Yay! Excellent. And friends, that actually brings us to the end of our whip and chat for today. I want to thank you so much for joining in. I've had a blast. I'm just putting away my spares that I have here in this boat, putting them back into my container. 
There we go. I want to thank you for joining in. Let's pull this back so you can see this. So we got a little bit done here today. It was a lot of fun. And again, thank you so much for joining in. And 